my tummy. My son is now six years old and he was diagnosed with ketotic hypoglycemia when he was about two. He went into a coma and we could not wake him up. I've made another film about that. Since then, we have struggled with him, with his food and a few different um, situations. I'm keeping a food diary, so keeping a really close watch on what goes in and what comes out. We have a care plan for him at school to make sure that he is seen to be eating, that someone has to tick off a chart to say that they saw him eat something. Um, and that was because a couple of times at daycare, he uh, went into a coma. I picked him up and on the way home, and the, on the way home, he fell asleep. We had to go into the hospital and get some glucose into him, IV, and then he was, he came around. Um, and that's obviously very stressful for him. We want to avoid that situation. The other time that it becomes stressful for us is when he has a virus and vomits. At the moment, today, he has a virus and he's been vomiting. And um, we are on high alert. Uh, so we have a three vomit rule if he has three separate individual vomits then we are going to the ED uh, mostly just to get a line and to get the glucose happening at the moment he's vomited twice and he's had a fever I've given him some paracetamol and um, he's been having some juice some blackcurrant juices. Uh, we tried milk, but he threw that up. Uh, so the next best option we're trying is juice, which is preferable to water because it has sugar in it. We tried to do blood glucose level um, test, and I couldn't get the damn thing to work. Uh, and so because he has a lot of trauma around previous experiences of hospitalization, even just getting a finger prick to get a single drop of blood can become quite a difficult task and he finds it very stressful. So when the machine didn't work the first time, I tried to do it on myself a few times and could not get it to read it. Like the machine, the monitor just keeps saying error, which sucks a lot. Um, so I don't know what his BGL is going in to sleep and he has just fallen asleep. I do know that he had about 80 mils of juice, which he has kept down. So if he stays asleep um, for the next few hours, I am confident that he will be okay. But if he wakes up and vomits, I'll have to take him into the hospital. And when he wakes up, if he doesn't vomit when he wakes up, I'll need to get some sugar into him pretty promptly. And yeah, I am very nervous that we could be looking at another low glucose situation, another hypo. Yeah, so we're a bit, a bit on a precipice tonight. How are you feeling now? Mm, sick. A little sick. What does that mean in your tummy? I'm feeling a little queasy. Mm. My tummy hurts. And, um, ow. I drank some water. And, well. I had a good sleep. Yeah, that's good. Mm, do you think you could eat something or not? I don't really want to eat something. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't want to eat 
breakfast because my tummy. So, well, well I still want a bath. Bath is pretty good, Mama. Okay, good boy. So you've just had three tiny blueberries. How do you feel now? Mm. On the corner of my tongue feels a little sour. Mm. Yeah. And I like blueberries. I asked you if I could give you honey. I don't want honey. Mm hmm. Okay, well, let's see if we can keep those blueberries down. I'm not feeling well in my tummy. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that these are the kinds of things that parents of children with ketotic hypoglycemia experience. This is the stuff that, um, yeah, we find terrifying for anyone who's actually seen their kid in a coma. I'm sure you know exactly what I mean.